YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Film Fishing Channel. The video that you guys are about to watch uh, was actually shot as a continuation of my 51st outing of 2019. I actually have good news and bad news for you guys. Well, the bad news is that some of the footage that I shot for that fishing session that day got corrupted from the GoPro and I was not able to recover it so this video is not quite complete but the good news is that I was able to salvage enough footage right to compile it into one video so that I can bring to you guys the video for today keep in mind that the main premises of this video was to explore and fish the East Branch Brandywine Creek which is a watershed that I fish maybe twice or three times a year and of course try to catch as many different species of fish as possible right folks so grab a popcorn and I hope you enjoy it and here we are the mighty eastern Brandywine or East Brandywine Creek I guess I'm going to start over here and either go downstream or upstream or both we'll see what happens good day of multi-species hopefully what for sure what is that i thought it was a trout it's not a trout Ay, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a rock bass, man, kind of bittersweet, you see, I thought for sure it was going to be a trout, it turned out to be a, a rock bass, hmm, the Umbloplitis hupestris. Well, I guess it is not that bad to have the rock bass as our first species of the day choked on that little gulp minnow right there yeah all right yeah went away man i really thought it was a trout playing tricks on me son mm, yeah i knew it was a trout man choked it yeah it took me a little while but I got gotcha. you, angels rock bass down there, no sun. Now is it a rainbow or brown? It's a brown. Yeah, it's my first brown of the season too. Beautiful, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, little, you thought you could fool me forever, huh? Ain't like that, not with me. All right, let me take a photo of this guy hooked on the side of the mouth. Man, look at this guy, huh? Mean, man, mean. It was together with a rock bass. He thought, you know, yeah, maybe this dude is gonna go away if he catches a rock bass. Not me, brother, not me. Let me unhook it on, on the bottom here. Yeah, inside the water. Look at that, huh? Beautiful brown trout. My first brown trout of the season. Got rainbows, got browns, got brookies this season. Trifecta, son. There's one. I just knew there was going to be trout here. No way there's no trout after this current break. Wait, what is this? Is that a trout? Wait, wait, wait that, is, that, is that really a trout? Oh yeah, the, dude, look at the size of this trout. I thought it was a little smally. Ay, 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 look at this. Is this even a trout? My goodness, little brown. <laughs> Bro. There's one. Something, at least. It doesn't feel like a trout. What is it? No, you're kidding me. No, 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 no. Wait a moment. No. Is this is this some kind of joke? This is this is not even a legal size trout. 
legal size is seven inches in Pennsylvania. This is this is for sure not seven inches, and this is for sure not wild. What what is the PA fishing boats doing stocking fish like this? This is actually the third brown trout of the day. Look how pissed he is. He is. Huh? He thinks he's gonna get away. The EP series, man. He hooks this fish good. There's no way he's gonna get away. Yeah, this is the first brown trout of the day. Oh, oh, okay, okay, he's gone. Less than seven inches, for real. Like, they, oh man, I, didn't, I don't even wanna talk about it. Look, it's just swimming over here. You guys, you guys see it? Man, look, look at that. Look at that. Get the hell out of here, man. Can you imagine you go to the trout opening day we were a kid and you guys are expecting to catch some dinner right and you know your your kid never caught a trout before he casts out there and he hooks one and it turns out to be that little fella you know you can't even take home to eat because the minimum size is seven inches let me tell you something that would be terrifying terrifying <laughs> oh boy Ooh, there's one there's one that was a nice hit this is a nice fish I mean definitely nicer than the last trout no doubt no doubt what we got here it is a brown another little brown why are the brown so small mm. I'm really starting to doubt to doubt this place now why are the browns so small look at that hatchery brown trout Ooh. The fin is all messed up on this fella too. Man, they choked on that spinner. Let's unhook it from the side. There we go. One, two. Easy, right? Unbelievable. Look at the size of the little guy. Wow, I guess the trout this year for the East Branch brandy wine was just not too good. There's one on the spoon. Not bad, not bad, guys. This this got some weight to it. On the spoon. We will find out. We'll find out what it is. We will find out what it is. It's swimming my way for some reason. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is it? What is it? It's a brown. Yeah, it's a beautiful brown. It's not just any brown. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Oh yeah. On the spoon, son. Wow, it's got a red fin. What is this? Oh, 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 easy, easy now, boy, easy. Hooked on the top of the mouth. Oh, man. Oh, I thought it was a red fin. Look at this, folks. Okay, we're going to do some surgery with this poor guy right here. Oh, 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 oh man. Ooh, and it's gone. Here, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Do I, do I need to revive you a little bit? At least you got that out of your ass, right? Oh, man. Living with this stuff on his ass. This is a power worm. Living with this stuff is stuck in your ass. It's definitely not a good feeling, let me tell you. Ooh, boy. <laughs> you guys ain't gonna believe this. So I'm fishing the East Branch, Brandywine Creek, catching some trout. And then I come around this very swampy area that actually connects to the creek. I dropped my cast master over there a few times and there are some fish under this bridge. I don't know what they are. And today is multi-species. So you know what is next. Gulp minnow is coming up. Now this is what I call fascinating. I don't know how these fish got here. Probably when the area flooded, they kind of just got stuck here they are right under this bridge i just put a little gold minnow down there see if i can attract their attention oh yeah one's coming one's looking at it got him got him what is this wait what is what is this no no is this a creek chub is this what it is? Is this is this a is this really a crick chub? I think this is a crick chub. No, no, wait, wait, this is not a crick chub. 
This is a fall fish. Son, this is this is a fall fish. The Sematilus corporalis, you see? No dot. No dot on the tip of the dorsal fin. It's a fall fish. This one is a very weird fall fish if it is really a fall fish. I think it is a fall fish, but it is a fall fish that looks like a creek chub. I don't know. I need I need I need to catch one more to confirm. Is this a creek chub? Or is this a fall fish? You know, I need I need to catch one more just just to confirm it. Oh got him. What we got here? I definitely didn't think we were going to be doing micro fishing today. This is uh, another new species for me today. <laughs> I'm trying to get whatever shiners down there. I don't even have my photo tank with me. And we actually ended up landing a little bluegill. Okay, hey, I'll take it. Well, these are the moments that I wished I had brought my photo tank with me so I wouldn't have to abuse these guys so much. But I didn't really think I was going to be doing micro fishing over here today. I mean, thankfully, I brought my size 18 hooks and I'm just using a little piece of the one inch right uh, gulp minnow. I'm trying to find out if that thing was really a fall fish or a creek chub, but then a bluegill came up. Well, all right, this is it. I spent the last 15 minutes over here trying to get one of those shiners again. And it just didn't happen. I don't think they are here anymore. They're actually swimming this place up and down. I don't know. It's time for me to hit the creek again. That's what I'm going to do. Microvision was fun. Added two species to this video. But it is time to go back to the bigger species. There we go. What we got here? A little brown little brownie huh okay since I'm so close to the water I'm just going to release you in the water consider it a, a bonus from extreme full of fish in Sun I knew there would be some tiny fish in this current here didn't expect it to be this tiny I don't know who has been stalking this trout here but Man, these trout are tiny, very, very tiny. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, go back. Gulp minnow, gulp minnow, where are you? Oh, of course, it's over here dripping all over the bag. Oh, yeah, leaking as always because this container is just 10 out of 10. I just got one of the <laughs> greater spots. In this creek, folks, I got the 160, 64 ounce jig with a one inch gulp. As you guys can see, I mean, it gets deep over here. So let's see if there's some species, some different species around, ones that we haven't caught today yet. We are at the count of four, right? Who knows? Maybe something cool is going to show up. I see something down there, but. I don't know exactly what it is. Got him. What is it? Oh, it's a trout. I think it's a trout. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, I think I snagged the trout. Wait. Uh, no, that's not even a trout. That's a, that's a big fall fish. Oh, my goodness. It just snagged a big fall fish. Okay, okay, I'm sorry fella. This one doesn't count. Okay, folks for today. Oh, oh, oh Dang, dude. Oh Man, this this fall fish went savage mode on me Ah, yeah, yeah, yo, take, take it easy man. Thank you. Take it easy, bro. You splashing me too much, bro I don't need a shower from the East Branch Brandywine. Okay, take it easy man. Take, take it easy 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 fella easy big fella Ay, 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 man. How did I snag a fall fish like this? Man, look at this. Now, this is a proper pooping fall, fall fish. Oh, 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 dang, dang man. Whole, whole discharge just came out here. Ugh. Well, this one is snagged, so it doesn't count. But check this out, huh? They're actually spawning right now. And they got all the tubercles in front of them. 
kind of has a nose, huh? All right, all right, fella. You already pooped all over my hands. You can, you can go now. All right, go ahead. Got something. What I got here? Is that a trout? What is that? Is that a smolly? Oh man, this may be my first smolly of the year. This is interesting. Of all the things that I could have landed. Wait, did I catch a smolly this year yet? I don't think so, right? This is my first smallmouth bass of 2019. I, I may be wrong though, I may be wrong. There you go, one inch gold minnow, another species for today. This is fascinating, five species in one day? I'm pretty happy about it, I don't know about you guys, but here, here, oh, okay. Hopefully a few more are going to show up. we got here I saw it take it oh it's another little smolly no big smallies though only small smallies man we got everything today we got trout we got the panfish we got the little smallies oh yeah yeah okay there you have it there's something hiding among the rocks down there that's for sure 100 percent yeah what we got? Is it a rock bass? Yay, it's a rock bass hooked on the side of the mouth. Super dark rock bass. Wow, look at that, huh? Yeah, rock bass hiding by the structure. Let me release it over here. There we go. All right. Bye bye, little fella. Hmm, I see something down there that most certainly is going to be a new species for us today I think it is the red breast sunfish I'm not so sure let me cast the gold minnow over here a few times and see if there's anything around get it boy get it boy get it get it get it you can do it oh, new species for today <laughs> I'm pretty much ready to call it a day folks I was just uh, you know I saw this red breast down there the Lepomis auditus, and then I thought, you know, why not catch it and add it to the list today, right? Let me take a shot and release this dude. Beautiful. I lost count already, so I don't really know how many species we caught today. Uh, let's see. We had the rock bass, brown trout, smallmouth bass. What else did we have? Uh, the fall fish and red breast sunfish, right? So I think like five. That's not bad at all, not bad at all. Today was certainly um, a very interesting and eventful day, right? On one hand, it was a wonderful fishing session. I landed so many different species of fish from the East Branch Brandywine Creek, right? I think we finished the day with six different species of fish, which in my personal opinion for this time of the year banging the weird things about it we caught some trout that was like barely legal size right it felt like i don't even know why they were stocked in the creek we saved a fish from constipation in a certain sense i still have that uh pink worm that i took out of the fish's um vent in my bag we snagged a spawning fall fish from its back that, it is, <clears throat> that it decided to take a massive dump right in front of us, right? Yeah, sure, that, that sounds just a, another day in the life with EPF, you know? I, ho <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Spring is definitely here. Water temperature is on the rise. F uh, tons of stuff, you know, are going to be happening really soon, right? Shed migration is going to be around. The counts are already swim, swimming up the Delaware River. Uh, smallies and largemouth are ready to get into that pre-spawn mode. And the spawning is going to happen within a month and a half. So stay tuned. I'm going to be bringing you folks a lot of videos here on the channel. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. I will see you guys next time.
There's one. There's one. There's one. First fish of the day. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man, it's a cross-eyed fish, too. But, uh, choked it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, son. Let me get it out here. Not bad, huh? A little largemouth bass to start. 